You see that? You know what that is? That is a brake caliper, my friends. There are four brake calipers here, and which means we're doing brakes today. By the way, we're on a uh, uh, stabilizer right now. The lens is a little dusty because I haven't been filming in a while. We'll get to that in a sec. All right, so we are doing brake calipers today. I just broke all these lug nuts off with something called a breaker bar, which is this uh, tool right here. Um, let's go over a few things. Number one, uh, <laughs> I took a little break. Uh, there's some things that I needed to fix on the bus, like the propane, for example. It's right here, it should be working shortly. Although it's too short, it's not working. We gotta stop by the propane store once again and get that fixed. Um, but uh, yeah, I just been a little frustrated <laughs> with things. Number one, I feel like I'm fat. This might sound silly, but it's all relative. I've been like 160, 70 pounds, 75 forever, and now I'm approaching 200. It doesn't make me feel good. Me and Josh were joking about it on the trip. Uh, it's actually pretty, <laughs> it's a pretty serious <laughs> issue to me um, because I've never been this heavy, I don't like it. Uh, also, I put a lot of time and effort, whoop, there we go. Also, I put a lot of effort into this whole project over the past year and maybe 40 grand uh, into this project and only the past two months have I made a little bit of money on YouTube, uh, with the exception of Virgin Mobile, that was a little bit different. But um, if anybody's ever started a business before, uh, and you got to the point where like a year later, you're only getting 300 bucks a month, uh, it is worrying because uh, diesel does not grow on trees. It's uh, 150 bucks, 130 to 50 bucks to fill up the gas tank. Slightly worrying. So I was thinking a lot over the past few weeks and I don't know if I'm gonna sell the bus. Uh, I, it just is not sustainable at this point um, with my current numbers. And I know some of you guys are gonna be like, whoop, a gimbal. I know, some, I know some of you guys are gonna be like, well, if you posted more regularly than this. Yeah, that's true, but at the same point, uh, <laughs> it's still expensive. It, does, it hasn't been covering what I've invested in this project and it makes me nervous and There's a possibility I might have to sell this maybe downgrade But I'm not gonna stop the channel. So that's what's going on here um, Just trying to figure out my frustrations and you know all that stuff um, also would you guys, please <laughs> Bear with me. Uh, I am still a new youtuber uh, in my mind and uh, if I don't respond to somebody right away I know I've been lagging on the comments um, just you know just think like just know that I'm still figuring this thing out I'm not giving up <laughs> I'm not abandoning anyone uh, so there's none of that so don't worry I still love you guys um, don't please don't take it personally it's just me trying to figure out what the hell I am going to do with my life um, so, that being said, we're gonna work on the calipers and we're gonna get this going. This uh, stabilizer is still getting the hang of it. It's not perfect. It's kind of freaking out right now. And now we got it backwards. All right. Additionally, I fixed the coolant. Uh, I did a coolant flush, if anyone knows what that is. This is the coolant reservoir. This is where the coolant goes. Uh, there's something called a thermostat down here, which I took out, which is on the bottom of this hose down there. Um, it was a pain in the butt. I had to use 50, as in 5-0, gallons of distilled water to flush out the bus. This is the kind of uh, coolant I'm now using. Uh, if anybody is a 7.3 person or a diesel person, I got this ELC, which is good for like 800,000 miles or something like that. <coughs> um, so, let's begin. <laughs> This is a 
caliper. We got the caliper off. I also am using this impact driver uh, with a 14 millimeter socket at the tip. And I put it right on this uh, where the brake line goes in and I loosened it up as you can see. Uh, or maybe not, but take my word for it, it's uh, leaking around there. So the next step is to remove this whole thing and replace it with this brand new brake caliper right here. And the reason we're replacing is because this bleeder valve on that one that's currently on there, rather all four, because this is a salt belt bus, they're all rusted onto the caliper. Gotta remove it. All right, next step is to take the brake pad off of the old rusty brake caliper, put it on the new one, and make sure it fits it in the, the grooves right here. And uh, then we need to connect the brake line right here. This thing hanging down, if you can see it, uh, right there, uh, to the new one. Here's what I've been dealing with over the past few weeks. Here's the old caliper, new caliper. New caliper is remanufactured, which is not made by Ford. New caliper won't fit on there. Mechanics is a pain in the butt. I'll leave the tutorials up to Chris Fix, which, by the way, he's amazing. I've learned a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, this is how I feel and have been feeling for the past few weeks working on this thing. Definitely not my idea of a good time. Well, I got it on. The pad actually came off the caliper, and then I banged the caliper onto the pad. It's probably <laughs> the wrong thing to do, but it worked. So, next step is to screw the brake line back onto the caliper. Alright, this is the tricky part. That hose is set up to the bleeder valve, and we are draining brake fluid. This is a two-man job. You see how dirty that fluid is? So, Jackson is pressing on the brakes, and the pressure... Thanks, dude. The pressure is pushing out all the nasty brake fluid and then we're going to fill this brake fluid back up into this container which the container is called the master cylinder and there's still quite a bit of fluid so we're going to flush it all out. Got my breaker bar with the proper size socket, wheels back on, brakes are bled and it's time for the other side. I think I'll do the other two front ones tomorrow morning. Great, great news. We're back on the road. Um, the other brake caliper is on. I stopped by the uh, store. I know it's the one you guys don't like me to go to, but I, I promise it's convenient. And if you are on the road full time, you will completely understand why I stop here. <sighs> so anyways, I uh, got some goodies. Um, and we are headed over to a tiny house uh, festival thing for the weekend. It's gonna be a three day event. Not sure how exciting it's going to be to vlog the whole place three days in a row. So what I might do is kind of like a compilation vlog and then do individual interviews uh, of different people's tiny houses because there's going to be some pretty cool school buses, vans, and tiny homes on trailers over there and probably a lot more stuff too. Uh, so anyways, it's kind of a mess as you can see but this will be nice and clean by uh, tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna go park on the uh, the property overnight tonight, and then just wake up and start <laughs> meeting people. So let's hit the road. From the place beneath the willow, the willow. So many years, too many tears on your pillow. All right, we're here. Check this out. You can't see it right now, but right there, full on van life, tiny houses over here. We got the buses all stacked up. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be pretty rad. All right, just uh, had a nice catching up with Brock, Bus Life Adventure, and uh, Schooly Love on Instagram, and Valerie Bus. Um, and yeah, it's just gonna <laughs> it's just uh, school buses. There's like six school buses, I think. One, two, three, four, five, five or six. Um, so yeah, just gonna hang, network, um, and instead of, I think, doing a daily vlog, uh, at the same location for three days, maybe we'll do a compilation vlog of the whole weekend. Otherwise, it's gonna be three repetitive videos, um, and that's kind of why I didn't film the past, like, 
few weeks is because it's very repetitive and I was just like working on the engine and some other things. Um, anyways, we'll do some tours though. Some of these buses are super cool. Some of the tiny houses are insane. Very creative, very stylish. Uh, those would be a lot of fun. So if any of you guys are really into this kind of lifestyle, these would be some um, very inspiring videos coming your way. Um, otherwise, all is good inside Dan the Adventure Bus. <coughs> There's a couple little things to fix. Like this little door here is still broken. Um, gonna wrap the bench with this blanket again. Toilet is amazing. Uh, emptied that today. <laughs> you know, the usual bus life, van life. Oh, I did install this as well. Let the adventures begin. We got that at the... Uh, Portland Mar uh, outside market and then there is Dan Dan the man as in Dan the adventure bus so I got him right up above the driver's seat I'm gonna add something up here as well add also a bottle opener right here which you can't see I'm thinking maybe another piece of artwork or a little hanging a vertical garden I think that would be kind of cool right when you pop in a little splash of green why not uh, <laughs> just go for like the ultimate Pinterest bus anyways thanks for watching I know uh, you could spend your time anywhere, but thank you for spending it with me. I'll see you guys tomorrow.